Hi there, Steve here from the Air Conditioning Doctor. I'll just give you a quick run through of a ducted gas heater we're about to install for a client. We're actually doing a changeover unit, and the reason being that theirs requires quite a significantly high cost repair, and we've decided that it's a better option to replace it. They're going to get a unit that's got warranty on it for five years, and it's actually going to run more efficient using about 30% less gas than the one we're taking out. Now while we're here, don't forget to hit subscribe. That way we can keep you informed of new products, new technologies and help you use your heating and cooling products more efficiently. Alright, so to start with we've got that blue box which is the control module. That's the brains of the unit. So the sensors throughout the unit actually report back to this module that things are okay or not okay and from then it responds by providing power to the combustion fan, the gas valve, the ignition and it constantly monitors feedback from these sensors all the time. This is the brains of the unit and that's what keeps you safe. Here we've got our in-shot burners, we've got our spark and sense components either end of the burners and then we have the entry to the heat exchanger. So the next part is the room circulating fan. So if you were to stand near your return air filter and you can hear that noise, feel that breeze, what you're feeling is this room circulating fan motor pulling the air in through the blower wheel here and it pushes it through the heat exchanger which I'll show you next. So this is the heat exchanger. So that room circulating fan that draws the air in through your return air filter and ductwork pushes the air over the outside of these tubes of the heat exchanger that's then connected to your supply air ductwork through your zone motors, through your ductwork and that's the warm air that comes out of your ceiling outlets. Now on the inside of these tubes here that's where you've got the air and gas mixture which has been ignited, heated. Now that's your poisonous gas that's always kept separate to your room circulating air. Now that combustion fan that we saw earlier that's actually creating a draft all the way through the internals of the heat exchanger and we get our poisonous flue gases coming out of this opening here. From there those flue gases are actually piped to the outside atmosphere and that way there's no risk of any carbon monoxide poisoning to any of the occupants inside the house. And here's the heater all installed in operation.